Hey guys, I'm CMAC Pro, and welcome to a War Thunder realistic battle in the Japanese Saber. There's really not much for me to say about this plane. I mean, it's the fastest plane in the game, alongside all the other Sabres that are in the game. Uh, it is only one of two Japanese Tier 5 planes that are in the game right now, and it is the one and only Japanese jet in the game right now. Uh, the other Tier 5 plane is the KI-200 rocket plane, which is actually super, super fun to fly in simulator battles. Um, but this is the one and only jet in the game right now for the Japanese, and it is one awesome jet because it is the fastest plane in the game, like I said, alongside all the other fastest planes in the game, because right now three out of the five countries have sabers. I haven't said this on a video before, but I have said this in various other places. Every single country in this game is going to have a saber before this game is done. I guarantee it. Um, so yeah, this is the Japanese saber. It is the F-30, which is currently the highest number 30, or uh, highest number Sabre in the game right now, I'm pretty sure. I think the German one is not quite a 30, it might be a 25 or something to match the Americans, I don't know. Um, but it's an F-30, so definitely a very good plane. If you are trying to get a Sabre for yourself, I should say, or I should mention that this is the one you should go for, because it is the fastest one you can get, because there are so few planes that come before it that you can just easily get it through the Japanese tech tree. Unless, of course, you are already grinding some other country, and it would take you longer to get this plane. In which case, completely ignore my advice. But if you are just starting the game and you want a Sabre, go for this one, because there's so few other planes to go through. So here you can see I'm diving on an LA-15. Uh, I did have some teammates attacking it before, and there's even another Sabre just below me trying to attack it as well. But I figured I'd go ahead and go on it, because I do want to get some kills this game. Always nice to get kills, right? My teammate is shooting at him and not really getting any hits. I am also faster than my teammate, so I'm going to be able to shoot here, and I do, and I got some hits, but I don't want to get hit by my teammate, so I pull up. I get out of the way of my teammate, make sure he doesn't crash because of me, and he doesn't shoot me or anything like that. So then I go down here on the LA-15, using my air brake, because I'm going so much faster than he is, and I don't want to have a short, short time to shoot at him. So I go behind him, crit him, take off his left wing, and he is going to spiral in, and then I type high into chat, because somebody has spotted me. So... Bye-bye, Mr. LA-15. You are now going into the ground, and I am climbing back up in order to try and find some more enemies. Hello there, Tetsuo. You're in a Yak-9. Now, I should say that one of the things I have trouble with in terms of dealing with um, in, in this game in Jets is prop planes. I have a hard time shooting down prop planes when I'm in a jet. It's much easier for me to kill other jets. I don't know why... Maybe it's because of the maneuverability of prop planes compared to jets, but I just have a lot of trouble shooting down prop planes. Lucky for me, though, uh, my, this prop plane is chasing a teammate. Uh, unlucky for me, though, you can see I do have an LA-174 coming for me. He's about a kilometer away, and he's going to pull up into me, so I dove down, and I got to dodge his shots if he's coming for me. I wasn't sure whether he was coming for me or not, and I figured if he was, he didn't have the energy to keep up with me, so I kind of ignored him there, but then you saw those sparks appear which told me I need to actually do some maneuvers here. So I, I kind of turned there. I guess it was enough for him to not want to follow me. Maybe he can't follow me in a turn. I don't know how this thing turns compared to an LA-174. I do know that it outturns a MiG-15, but that's not really relevant right now. Hello, Yak-9. I'm going to go head on, and I actually miss, because I expected him to pull harder than he did. <laughs> Dang AI. <laughs> Okay, so so far it looks uh, okay as far as the matchup's going right now. There are three enemy jets and one prop plane versus three of us. Although now there's a fourth enemy here who I see um, just now. It's an AI. I'm going to get shots on this LA-174 here. My teammate overshot him, so the LA-174 is actually kind of a threat to him. So I decide to get on his tail nice and easy, and the 174 makes it easy for me. I set him on fire, and then... Tracers go flying past me, as you saw, and the MiG-15 goes flying past me, and I consider aiming up towards the MiG-15, but I don't want to make myself an easy shot for anything that's behind me, and so I elect not to do that. You might notice that there is an AI on my tail right now. It'd be bad for me if I went up vertically. The AI would probably get shots on me. And he's actually shooting at me right now, I'm pretty sure. 
Hello, MiG-15. Would you care to go head on? He would. Oh, God. Okay, well, at least I set him on fire, and I crit him. Although he also kind of broke off my wing and set me on fire. So I'm going in here, and... Boom. I am now dead. But so is he, so yay! <laughs> so, uh, that game, I killed, what, an LA-174, a MiG-15, and an AI. Three kills that game. Uh, currently all that's left now is two sabers on my team plus a panther against a single enemy MiG-15. And so what I've done here is I have cut forward into the video to watch this last MiG-15 on the enemy team die. Because it was actually quite a spectacular shot. That was a maze that this guy made the shot. So they're about to go head on here. And my teammate fires and he somehow sets the MiG on fire. Aiming in a place where I would not have aimed if I was in his situation. I did not expect the Meteor, not the Meteor, <laughs> the MiG, to go on his right, but apparently that's what happened. So that was a nice shot. MiG-15 is on fire, although the smoke has stopped, so I'm pretty sure he's no longer on fire. Um, I told my teammate nice in chat, you can see it there. And now it's just a matter of time before this MiG-15 finally dies. He does say in chat, let me burn, but then suddenly I guess he just dies or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Maybe he got the uh, ejection timer, the dreaded ejection timer, where War Thunder says, Hey, you have to get out of your plane now because your plane is essentially dead, even though you're still completely flyable. Maybe that's what happened to him. I don't know. <laughs> it was just funny that he wanted to burn on his way down. But uh, that was the last enemy. Uh, I didn't get that kill. They did get three other kills, though, which I am quite happy with. This plane is amazing. Victory is ours, as the announcer said. So how did I do that game in terms of rewards? Three kills, got second place on my team. Was it my daily double? It was my daily double. Didn't really get very many RP though, as you can see, because I'm researching a tier 3 plane. And a tier 5 plane is not going to research a tier 3 plane very effectively, despite what logic would tell you. It's because it's not next to tier 5. It's not tier 4, it's not tier 6, because tier 6 doesn't exist. Yeah, it's weird. I hate the Gaijin did that, but whatever, that's irrelevant for this video. <laughs> so three kills that game. It was uh, two Russian jets and one Russian uh, AI, a Yak-9P. And it got me second place on my team for a total of 43,000 lions and very little RP. We're just going to ignore that. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, if you're looking for a Sabre, I highly recommend this one because it's one of the fastest planes in the game. It, I mean, it's the fastest plane in the game alongside all the other Sabre Fs out there in the game. Um, it's also the fastest Sabre that you can reach in the game because there are so few planes that you have to get before it. So it's nice and fast to reach, which is why I have it and I don't have any of the other Sabres. So like I said, I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.